Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, great to have everyone here. Um, so let's get started um, with today's piece of writing. Um, feels like there's something uh, missing. Oh, I know what's missing. Let's just put up, let's put up the old, the old book cover. All right, that feels better. Always get that promotion in there. So today, where are we, uh, where are we holding? We are, okay, so we have all these captains of the Yakuza arguing over pretty much whose fault it is that the 27th, that the seventh captain of the Yakuza is dead. Um, so that's pretty much our, um, our starting point for today. So uh, let's reread what we did yesterday and uh, maybe do a few quick edits before we get into today's page. Okay, so, um, right, so they found the shooter, the guy responsible, supposedly, for killing the seventh captain. And now uh, let's see what happens. So he couldn't have been more than 20 years old, but the trouble he managed to cause would have taken a lifetime's work. He was dressed like a dock worker, his hair cropped short, his clothes battered, and he had a wide variety of tattoos, one of which caught my eye immediately. The mob had found him clambering down from the top of a shipping container about 400 meters to the north of the hexagonal clearing. He put up a fight, but the mob had been quick on the trigger, which obviously wasn't ideal, but there was still plenty of evidence to identify who he was. Okay, so, um, oh, hello to first time chatter, uh, Michael Neverston. Uh, great to have you here. Are you an author? If so, we like all uh, first-time chatters to uh, tell us what they're writing. Um, okay, so what we need to do... Uh, an army sniper seemed most likely to... seem most likely given the difficulty of the shot. Captain Shiro identified the exact model of the rifle he used, and she would know because she supplied them to the army. Captain Tanaka was eager to point the finger, but Captain Shiro... Pointed to the shooters. Now, okay, so there's 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 an easy bit of um, editing that we can do on this page just very quickly. Um, <laughs> didn't even know this category existed. Yeah, um, yeah. There's everything's on the internet now, so uh, all writers can uh, join in uh, and have a community. Um, now, Okay, so let's. We need to describe Captain Shiro a bit. I like the idea of this. Um, let's let's just rearrange this uh, this this little bit here. So, Captain Shiro. Half the time, editing for me is just about making things sound a little bit better on the ear. Um, so here's a good example. Captain Shiro, a rather. Let's make her a plump woman. Um, wearing a uh, you know a silk kimono we are in japan so let's really uh play that up uh determined that's an army sniper now that just sounds a little bit better give the uh, audience a little bit of a uh a little bit of a boost to their imagination so determined that an army sniper seem most likely given the difficulty of the shot and then she identified, we don't need to say the name twice, so she identified the exact model of the rifle he'd used, and she would know, because she supplied them to the army. Captain Tanaka was eager to point the finger, but Captain, Ch but Captain Shiro pointed to the shooter's neck. He bears your tattoo, she said. Anybody could get that tattoo, said Tanaka, and anybody could buy my guns. Enough said, Curie, it's quite... So I think this bit also, which was quite good yesterday, I think it just needs to come maybe a little bit later. So let's... Um, what do we got? Oh, thank you for the follow. Um, Michael Netherston, appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, are you a writer? If you are, please do let us know. And if so, what are you writing? Uh, right, so we just wanted to uh, change this up. So anybody could buy my guns. Let's just keep this going a little bit longer. Um, so, remember, their whole thing at the moment is to find out who this shooter is, to identify him. So, um, Captain Shiro told the um, told the mob to search, you know, the shooter's 
Um, pockets. <clears throat> okay. Um, oh, search the shooter's body. Okay. So what we said was that this... So they found this guy who's supposedly responsible for shooting the seventh captain of the Yakuza. Now they're going to... Um, now they're going to search his body and basically they're going to find on him so many different things uh, that all seem to point to different people um, in the Yakuza, to, to other people. So it's basically a mishmash, right? And now this part of the novel is going to be that sort of murder mystery, whodunit uh, type of thing. That's part two. Um, what, am I, what kind of novel am I writing? This is a thriller uh, primarily. Uh, part one was a thriller at least. And now we're into part two, which we've just started, and uh, it's turning into more of a murder mystery, at least for this part of the novel. Um, so, anybody could buy my guns. Captain Shira told them I'd sh to search the shooter's body. Um, so, in his pockets, they found a train ticket. That's it. So, I think this is what we said yesterday. Um, yeah, so, let's... Um, Let's delete that. I just want to bring all this stuff up uh, a little bit f uh, before. Um, so that when Kyori Matsumoto says, what we need is an impartial voice, and then Sabrina says, um, well, what about Ollie? And now our protagonist suddenly goes from dog to detective. Um, that's what's, uh, you know, that, then it's just, it's, it's just laid out a little bit nicer um, than we had it yesterday. So, and anybody could buy my guns. Captain Shiro told the mod to, sh to search the shooter's body. In his pockets, they found a train ticket. It's from... Uh, and then we need a district of uh, Japan, uh, or a district of Tokyo. So, um, we're in Koto at the moment. Um, I don't know what another district of Japan is, so we'll just say... Um, we'll just put the KKK, which is what I like to put when... Uh, when I don't know. So we'll just put that in brackets and we'll come back and we'll do that. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get that in the, in the real edit. Okay. Um, so obviously they find this train ticket and now that points the finger at, um, at the captain from that district. So let's say that the captain of KKK, okay, um, denied it outright. Uh, Claiming anybody could buy a ticket. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then let's say, let's do it one more time. The captain of, uh, again, another district. Um, so we need, let's say, uh, captain of uh, district two, whatever. Uh, again, I don't really know... Uh, these districts offhand, so I'm just going to put this. Um, applied the, uh, you know, same defense um, with regards to the receipt from a uh, well-known restaurant uh, in his district. Um, okay, fine. So the shooter sort of has all this different junk in his pockets that seems to be um, pointing the finger. Um, and then Kyori Matsumoto, who's really the most powerful of the captains, now she comes in and she says, you know, enough. It's quite clear that whomever is behind this has contrived to point the finger at each of us. We need a folk tale because that's how she speaks. She loves to use those folk tales. We'll find a folk tale to, uh, to make her point. We will require cool heads in order to solve this mystery, um, we must be objective. Okay, fine. And then Tanaka comes in. You know, you are not our leader, Matsumoto, said Tanaka, which brought up the question as to what had happened to the old Yakuza superior. He'd been standing next to Kyori when the shot had gone off, but in all the commotion, nobody had seen what had happened. All right. Um... So let's just make this Captain uh, Shiro. Captain Shiro suggested that the whole thing might have been a misdirection in order to kidnap him. Uh, it could have been the Koreans trying to destabilize our business. 
Um, you know, that's rich coming from you. Um, said um, the captain of District 2. Let's say. Captain of District 2. Um, so, your district. Um, you know, is down 5% this quarter. Remember, they've just had the captain's meeting, which we saw in the last chapter. So let's uh, let's keep referencing that. Okay. Um, it looks very interesting, but it's already 3 a.m. for me, so good night. In your case, good afternoon. Actually, it's, uh, it's just morning here. Um, uh, but yeah, Michael, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully, we'll see you on the stream again tomorrow. Um, or whenever you can next. So, uh, and if you want to catch up, please do look at the old videos. Uh, probably check out the first video, which is on the YouTube channel right before your eyes. And that'll give you a better sense of what we're writing. Um, okay, so that's Rich coming from you, said another captain. Okay. Um, your district is down 5% this quarter. Okay, and then we said the captain shouts at one another. Fine, so... Oh, freezing. Why are we freezing? One second. Oh, my Mac is going slowly. All right, so um, we might need to trim something up here simply because uh, we want this last line of the page. Remember, our rules for writing are good first line and the last line of every page needs to be a, uh, a um, you know, that, that sort of a cliffhanger that compels the reader to turn the page. Your district is down 5% this quarter. Um, needless to say, the conversation devolved. Um, fairly quickly after that. <laughs> okay, so the point was that the last thing on this page was supposed to be... Um, was supposed to be that Sabrina steps forward and says, what about Ollie? You know, so... Mm. Okay, and then the whole thing shifts to our, our protagonist. Um, so we, we're going to have to do a little bit of editing, but let's write this page. Um, let's write today's page. So stick that on that line up there. And then let's get a good first line for this page and just get stuck into it. Uh, so, okay, so the first, again, the first line, as we always do, it should be as if we're writing the first line of a novel. All right, so, um, let's see, I stood there watching the words come out of my ex-wife's uh, come on, X, wife's mouth. Um, I couldn't believe. Okay, so a better, better, um, better than this would be. Remember, our guy has a sharp wit, so let's um, let's let's make this a little bit more in keeping with his personality. Um, um, so, I knew that Sabrina hated me. But standing there, in front of the 22 captains of the Yakuza, Uh, as she okay so, okay so I knew that Sabrina hated me but standing there 
Uh, but standing there in front of the 22 captains of the Yakuza. While she told them all about my um, history as an investigator. Um, how does that line finish? Okay, so I knew that Sabrina hated me, but standing there... No, so let's... Um... I knew that Sabrina hated me, but standing there in front of the 20... Standing... Standing there in front of the 22 captains of the Yakuza while she told them all about my history as a... As a police investigator... was enough to make me believe in uh, reincarnation. Um, Buddha reincarnation and Fact that in a previous life, uh, I must have been a very bad uh, person. Okay, it's it's something like that. He has, um, you know, he's got that sort of wit about him. The point is, though, if that was the first line of a novel. Um, the question that the, any reader would be uh, asking themselves is, what was she saying, right? Is, you know, what's, uh, <laughs> and now we're going to, you know, is, is why she's saying this. So we want, we want to hear those words now. So, okay. Let's just delete this bit. Okay. Um, a very bad person. Um, Let's... Okay, so at some point... Let me see what comes out. I'm not sure what the next line is, but I can see just that little bit further ahead is that Captain Tanaka, our hot-headed Yakuza captain, silly girl, said Tanaka. Um, so Sabrina's going to suggest that Ollie be the... that, that our protagonist be the... Uh, you know, take the lead of this case, that all the Yakuza captains trust him uh, to do, uh, to find out who killed Mizuki Matsumoto. Um, so you do well to keep your mouth shut. Right. And now Sabrina has her comeback. She's ready. She's no pushover, Sabrina. We know that. And you do well. Mm, yeah, and you do well to keep your share price. Said Sabrina. You know, I'm a captain as much as you. Captain, just as much as you, Tanaka. Okay. Fine. So let's put this bit that we wrote yesterday. Let's just put that here. Okay. Um... So, 
Okay, so if Sabrina is going to, um, if Sabrina is going to suggest that they use Ollie as uh, their sort of uh, investigator, then the other captains of the Yakuza are going to have a problem with that. There are, there are a few problems with it. Number one, that he, he can't be impartial. No matter what Sabrina claims, he can't be impartial. Because, number one, he's her, ex, he's her ex-husband. There's a relationship. Number two, uh, he was hired by Kyori Matsumoto in order to kill her sister. And number three, because he has already proven to be incapable of carrying out his, um, his missions because he got caught. Uh, you know, and that's how he got into this whole situation uh, at the pit fights. So... We need someone to voice those uh, concerns. And just to catch some of the So let's have someone. Um, your suggestion um, is rather um, curious, said Captain. Let's use that person again, said Captain Shiro. Uh, this man um, I believe is your ex-husband is he not right so he hates me more than anyone okay so Sabrina sort of gets she um, she deals with the one thing so you two have a relationship that's problem number one Sabrina bats it away so he hates me more than anyone right so don't worry about him being uh, impartial or partial to me because um, if anything he's gonna try and point the finger at me uh, so she deals with that one um, He was hired by um, he was hired by Curie allegedly um, he is also incompetent Okay, so we have to we have to sort of uh, put that together. Hmm. All right. Um, anyway, the point is this: that uh, remember, Sabrina is 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 very much the con artist, um, and our guy Sharp has never been an investigator. So let's. Um, I must have been a very bad person. Um, Oh, that's a good line then. Okay. Uh, but I was pretty sure I'd never been an investigator. Okay. So how does it go? So, uh, I knew that Sabrina hated me, but standing there in front of the 22 captains of the Yakuza while she told them about all about my history as a police investigator was enough to make me believe in Buddha, reincarnation, and the fact that in a previous life I must have been a very bad person. That said... Um... I can tell you I'd never never been a police investigator okay something like that um, again it just flows a little bit better tell you I've never been I've 
never been a police investigator. Um, nor did I have any plans. Any plans to be. Um, okay, so especially not to, um, go around the Japanese. Ah, uh, this computer is running slow today. It's getting quite annoying. Uh, okay, uh, especially not to people around the Japanese underworld. Okay, so okay, fine, something like that. Um, and said, I can tell you, I've never been a police inv investigator, nor did I have any plans to be. And yet, uh, no, okay, especially not to the people around the Japanese underworld. Okay, he's impartial. Um, he has no bias. Uh, I don't think motive is correct because he does, technically our guy Sharp does have motive to kill... Um, to kill Mizuki Matsumoto. He did have motive, um, as we saw. So he's impartial. He has no bias. Um, he's the most objective person here. Okay. All stared at me. Um, something like that. Really similar expression. Um, of what? What is it? Of um, of contempt. Captain's all stared at me with a similar expression of contempt. Uh, but it was uh, Tanaka who naturally put the uh, put the words to it. Words to it. Okay. Silly girl. He said. Okay. You'd do well to keep your mouth shut. Okay. And you'd do well to keep your share price up, said Sabrina. Or did I misunderstand um, or did I misunderstand uh, what you claimed at the whatever the captain's meeting it's probably not going to be share price but it's it's something of that nature. And you'd do well to keep your pri uh, share price up, said Sabrina. Uh, or did I misunderstand? Um, the figures you presented 
at the captain's meeting. Okay. So. We can just do this. Okay, why isn't this... Uh... There you go. Okay. Um, okay. Leaving the captains... All staring at me with a similar expression, with similar, okay, with similar expressions of contempt. Okay, naturally, though, it was. <clears throat> wow, this, this, why is my Mac being so slow today? I'm literally not even typing, it's just catching up to me. Naturally though, it was Captain Tanaka who um, who, uh, who voiced the collective thoughts. Silly girl, he said. You'd do well to keep your mouth shut. And you'd do well to keep your share price up, said Sabrina. But did I misunderstand the figures you presented at the captain's meeting? Um... Okay, the... Uh... So Sabrina won a few uh, sniggers from uh, the other captains, and it looked as though they were about to uh, start another um, round of uh, finger pointing. Um, until Kyuri Matsumoto <clears throat> stepped in once more. Okay. So this is actually good that it should be... Remember, we know as the audience, we know a little bit more than all of the other... Uh, captains. We know, for instance, that um, Kyori Matsumoto and Sabrina uh, are in cahoots somehow. We don't know exactly in what way. All we saw was the page of an accounting ledger. Um, but we know that they're in cahoots. So it's, it's quite a good thing, probably, if they appear on the surface to be at odds with each other. Okay, they would want that in order to sort of deflect the the yakuza from thinking there is any sort of connection between them um yes uh so first first uh kyori will be like you know tanaka you are out of order um however i must agree that your suggestion is rather curious Said, not Captain Shiro, let's have it as uh, said. Um, you are out of line, Tanaka. As much as you. Um, whatever, the point is, she's a, she's a, she's a captain as much as anyone. Um, Oh, come on, stop freezing. Um, okay, very annoying, but okay. You are out of line, Tanaka, um, she said. 
However, I must agree that your suggestion is rather curious. Um, Captain... Uh, so what's Sabrina's... We need Sabrina's maiden name. Uh, so I'm just going to put that in brackets because I don't know it. Sabrina's um, maiden name. Okay, fine. Especially given that this man... Uh, you claim that this man... Um, okay, no, especially... Um, okay, whatever. This man, I believe, is your ex-husband. Fine, whatever. Let's let's just use that. Is he not? And therefore hates me more than anyone else. Said Sabrina. Hmm. Okay, so that deals with the first problem that the uh, that they're all going to have is that there's a relationship between these two. Okay. In fact, that deals with two problems. Actually, that's quite a good line then. But hates me more than anyone else. Okay, so now Tanaka is going to be the one to come back at Kyori and say, Never mind that. He was hired by you to kill your sister. Right? Um, Tanaka growled. Um... Never mind that. Okay. He was hired by you, Matsumoto, to kill your sister. Um, we all heard her, uh, we all heard her confirm this at the captain's meeting. Okay, allegedly. Um, so the captain's had to acknowledge this. This fact. Um, but after witnessing. Remember, Curie has just killed her bodyguard in, in front of them. So they're all a bit... Um, they're all a bit on edge around her. No one's going to really challenge her on this. So we need to just... Again, we're just keeping up with that. The captain's had to acknowledge this fact. But after witnessing Curie gut her bodyguard... Um, they did so uh, via... Um, quiet, you know, mumbling. Okay. Allegedly. Um, so it should be something like that, I think. Um... Okay, so we don't need this line. Okay, so we need to now start thinking about what the last line of this page is going to be. Uh, because uh, we're, almost, we're almost at the end of it. Uh, so let's read it through and perhaps something will suggest itself to us. Uh, I knew that Sabrina hated me. <clears throat> so, I knew that Sabrina hated me, but standing there in front of the 22 captains of the Yakuza while she told them all about my history as a police investigator was enough to make me believe in Buddha, reincarnation, and the fact that in a previous life... I must have been a very bad person. That said, I can tell you I've never been a police investigator, nor did I have any plans to be. Especially not to the people who ran the Japanese underworld. Um, and especially, especially not... Uh, especially not for the people who'd... Um, Who'd locked me in a, uh, yeah, in a shipping container and forced me to fight for my life. Fight, um, I, 
for their amusement. Because that, that doesn't... I know that's not going to read right. Amusement. Um, so especially not for people who'd lock me in a shipping container and force me to fight for my life. Um, all for their own amusement. Okay. He's impartial. He has no bias. He's the most objective person here, Sabrina concluded, leaving all the captains... No, leaving the captains all staring at me with similar expressions of contempt. Naturally, though, it was Tech Captain Tanaka who voiced the collective thoughts. Uh, silly girl, he said. You'd do well to keep your mouth shut. And you'd do well to keep your share price up, said Sabrina. Or did I misunderstand the figures you presented at the captain's meeting? Sabrina won a few sniggers from the other captains, and it looked as though they were about to start another round of finger-pointing until Kyori Matsumoto stepped in once more. You're out of line, Tanaka, she said. However, I must agree that your suggestion is rather curious, Captain Sabrina. This man is your ex-husband, is he not? Okay, so this man is your ex-husband, is he not? And therefore hates me more than anyone else, said Sabrina. Tanaka growled, never mind that. He was hired by you, Matsumoto. Okay. you, Matsumoto, to kill your sister. We all heard her confirm as much. Uh, or did I misunderstand? Yeah, that's it. Or did I misunderstand? Uh, what did Sabrina just say? Or did I misunderstand um, what Mizuki herself told us at the captain's meeting okay that's better now we now we see these uh these guys are all you know sort of really ripping into each other um okay tanaka growled at the two women um I'm out of line? This dog was hired by you, Matsumoto, to kill your sister. Or did I, or did I misunderstand what Mizuki herself told us at the captain's meeting? Okay, um... Right, um... That was a good point. Okay, oh so... Which was a damn good point. But given um, the fact that um, Curie had just, or oh, but but after, yeah. So, okay, one second. Oh, we are freezing again. Okay, but after after witnessing Curie gut her bodyguard, but after witnessing um, Curie. Uh, gut the bodyguard and threaten anyone who should um, even suggest whatever such a thing the other captains um <clears throat> Or hesitant uh, to do uh, 
anything more than okay what so let's just uh refine that okay which was a damn good point but after witnessing Kyori gut her bodyguard and threaten anyone who should even suggest um suggest such um even suggest such a thing the other captains were hesitant to um Were hesitant to um, were hesitant to um, voice their agreements. Nice motto. Hmm. Okay. So the question is, how does this page finish? Um, so I'm out of line. This dog was hired by you, Matsumoto, to kill your sister. Or did I misunderstand what Mizuki herself told us all at the told us at the captain's meeting? Uh, which was a damn good point. Uh, okay, which is a damn good point, but after witnessing Kyori gut her bodyguard and threaten anyone who should even suggest such a thing, the other captains were hesitant to, um, to voice their agreement. Kyori Matsumoto... It's simply mm. hey what? what's going on again why is this doing this okay uh we definitely cannot keep right we have one more sentence and then i'm gonna have to really do something about this uh mac see why it's slowed down so much okay come on last sentence of the day guys let's um Let's see. What's going to be a compelling sentence that then um, that forces us into the next part? So, um, okay, we could do it simply as this, and um, and before I knew what had happened. I was, um, I was the Yakuza's, um, uh, lead investigator. On the case, um, on the case of their, um, fallen. Whatever, it's, it's something like that. And that's actually probably the end of the chapter. Um, how many how many words do we have in this chapter? Chapter 9. Looks fair, it looks big enough if we've got 1, 2, 3, uh, 4. So that would be about 5 to 6 pages uh, uh, in a regular sized book. This is These are obviously, um, you know, A4 pages. Um... Um, okay. Okay, so I don't know what... I, uh, we just need to stitch this part together. So how's that going to be stitched together? Um, 
So, you're out of line, Tanaka, she said. However, I must agree that your suggestion is rather curious, Captain Sabrina. This man is your ex-husband, is he not? And therefore hates me more than anyone else, um, said Sabrina. Um, okay. Tanaka growled at the two women. I'm out of line. This dog was hired by you, Matsumoto, to kill your sister. I did understand what Mizuki herself told us at the captain's meeting. Which is a damn good point. Uh, but after witnessing Kyori gut her bodyguard and threaten anyone who should even suggest such a thing, the other captains were hesitant to voice their agreement. Kyori Matsumoto said simply, said simply um, allegedly. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we can immediately get to that last line. Um, maybe there is one more page to write, I think, um, before we're there. So, what could it be? We're hesitant to voice their agreement. Going back to Mato, said simply, um, the captain hesitant to voice their agreement. Going back to Mato, said simply, allegedly, um. Hmm. Okay, just need one line to finish. My gosh, this one's a hard one. This is probably the hardest last line we've had to write so far. Um... So what's the point? What are we writing? What is the point here? The point is that uh, Sabrina has suggested they use Ollie, they use our protagonist Sharp to to do his uh, to be the lead investigator. Everyone else has a problem with that. Um, fingers are being pointed everywhere, and then. So there needs to be something that just confirms it. So what can it be? What can happen that uh, that that makes them all see that actually no, this guy is the right choice, and um, and then uh, and and does become the lead investigator. Uh, right, allegedly. Um, They actually do have an impartial. There is actually one person, another person that they could use, and that is, and that is the Yakuza superior. He's technically an impartial, an impartial person, right? He's sort of the um, the uh, the figurehead of the Yakuza, uh, above all of the captains. So, but he's missing. Okay, he's missing in action. He's MIA. Uh, could we use that? The other captains were hesitant to uh, to voice their agreement. Allegedly. Um, Okay, so finally, though, um, a long argument followed, let's say. But finally, oh, I know what we could do. But finally, um, <clears throat> the decision was made um, by a by a single fact that nobody.
Okay. A long argument followed, but finally the decision was made. Um, by a uh, by a single fact. <clears throat> So compelling, so compelling that um, the captains had no choice but to hire me. <clears throat> As their man. Okay, it, something like that would be quite a good last line. Uh, not that I know what that fact is, but something like that compels the reader to turn the page and go, well, well what is it? They were all arguing, what, what was this thing that made them all do it? And then, obviously, on the next page, we have to answer that question. Having said that, that's tomorrow's problem and not today's problem. Uh, so, we have, uh, we've won. We've won the battle for today. Uh, quite a tough one, that. But... We got it done in about an hour, which isn't bad. Another page of the novel done. <clears throat> so the next page is certainly going to going to be the um, the end of the chapter. That that's for sure. We have a chapter. We're going to finish this chapter uh, tomorrow. Uh, probably it's again about another page long, maybe just a bit shorter than a page, uh, and then we can finally start to get into the meat of this investigation uh, and the meat of this. Um, uh, murder mystery, right? So Sharp is going to have to step up his game. Uh, we're also going to see, you know, what Sabrina's motive was for, for getting him uh, selected as, um, you know, investigator. We need to figure out, we need to see what what is the uh, connection between Sabrina and, and Kyori Matsumoto. Obviously, we need to find out who killed Mizuki. Um, so there's a lot of things coming up in this chapter, a lot of questions that still need to be uh, answered um so we are going to uh have some fun with that okay but uh, another page done uh, so let's um thank the writing gods for for that um and uh yeah tomorrow we are uh, same time same place uh, where i will continue to write before your eyes